Firstly, coming to the definition of ragging, I am reading it from the UGC guidelines. Okay, so ragging is any conduct by any student or students, whether by words spoken or written, or by an act which has effects of teasing, treating, or handling with rudeness of fresher or any other student. So this was the definition of uh, ragging. Now coming to the prevalence of ragging. Though we know that ragging is a crime, but is it still prevalent in India and in West Bengal in particular? In all over India, if we see that ragging is more prominent or the more severe form of ragging is there in the Northern India. Though West Bengal is not spared because recently you have heard that one student committed suicide in Jadapur University. And today I am going to talk about uh, the ragging that is present mainly in the medical colleges. And the kind of ragging the first year residents of PG face. Coming to the UG ragging means I am sharing my experience when I was admitted into medical college Kolkata. We had a great senior junior relationship. We had intros where we, uh, when I was in the hostel, we had intros that which senior uh, resides in which room we had to tell that. So it's, I think necessary because where uh, we used to stay in hostel and it was not a hotel. So you need to know every name of every senior because they are a part of family member only. So it was necessary, but in nowadays it's become more diluted and no one takes the intro and this had led to disturbed senior junior relationship though one grand intro used to be held where uh, a bit of harassment used to be done means uh, seniors used to make fun of you so th that according to the new definition of ugc that also falls into rag now coming into the other medical colleges of kolkata uh, sskm has relatively uh, a less kind of ragging uh, kolkata based colleges also have less but in the periphery, it is more prominent like in um, Bardhaman Medical College, I have heard the cases are more severe. Now coming to all over India, if I say outside West Bengal, you have to say your seniors, sir, ma'am or boss. Okay, that itself uh, means that a one year senior is also uh, something bit higher than you. Okay, so that thing I don't like much means you should tell sir only to maybe if you are an MBBS student, you can tell sir, ma'am to PGTs and your faculties only. But telling sir and ma'am to immediate seniors, I don't see the point at all. In UP colleges, I have heard that uh, ragging is very much prevalent. Even I have seen a photo of MBBS students with mundan, means they shave all your hair. And there are restrictions regarding your hairstyle, dressing sense and all in most of the medical colleges except medical college kolkata which gives liberty of you to dress as you want now coming to the ragging prevalent in the residents so in the residents the kind of ragging that is done is not a direct kind of ragging but by pressurizing by giving more and more work by not letting them sit this kind of ragging we have seen being prevalent all throughout india and i am discussing it now because in medical college kolkata only a case of ragging has appeared. The allegations are against the second year PGTs of a particular unit of orthopedics. So the allegations are that they used abusive language for the first year PGTs. One even hit in the abdomen and the first year PGT became unconscious. So that's a really great thing. Physical abuse is never, never tolerated. Okay, physical abuse, you can't. So that is a serious point and you are seeing that this is making headlines all throughout the West Bengal newspaper. So this is a serious issue. But the positive point about Medical College Kolkata that all the three organizations have voiced and the interns have also voiced and action is going to take place. Okay, Meeting is going to be held and some kind of action is going to be uh, taking place. Three organizations that is uh, MCKRDA, the MCSU and the MCDSA had submitted letter and also the intern submitted letter against them and the victims have also submitted the letters. So they were given confidence by the organizations and the interns that 
we are beside you so this is necessary when you see any kind of fragging any kind of torture then unanimously you should protest against that because onnay kore je ebong onnay shohe je dujoni soman onnay oporadhi so you should protest any kind of any kind of abuse if you are seeing okay so this is the incident of medical college kolkata and medical college kolkata has taken action against that against this serious issue now if you see all over the india i have uh, read in pura about a uh, one answer like similar kind of complaints that in ims bhu even the visiting surgeon hits the third year third year hits second year second year hits first year like this goes on so one brilliant student left the seat the ms seat a similar cases could be heard that for 110 hours uh, in surgery department of vmmc they kept the first year residents and that led to the leaving of seat of the two first year pgts from that unit previous year also we had a similar case that a first year pgt developed cellulitis in maharashtra a college in maharashtra so developed cellulitis he was not uh, let to sit he was not let to have food and seniors used to take uh, uh, food from his money so these are all serious complaints but no action has been taken okay no one has protested no action was taken so uh, this is where the difference comes means in other states they have normalized it but dragging can never be normalized okay you should remember then dragging can never be normalized so if you see any kind of fragging if you are even a intern if you are a first year mbba student and you are facing it then you should reach your higher authorities you should write a letter uh, and uh, you should take the signatures of the eyewitnesses if they are afraid you should give them confidence and take them to the higher authority then surely action would be taken because ragging is a very serious offense and the action is um, more severe in case uh, of ug ragging because in the ugc guideline only it is given but in pg also if you face this sort of harassment then first approach your departmental head if he or she doesn't take any action then you should reach the college head that is the principal or dean with signatures because signatures are a proof and if you have any other sort of proof you can keep it and approach and even if there is no sort of relief and there is physical abuse if you have faced then straight away i would say to you to make an injury report then and there okay keep the injury report with you sir if the principal and any college authority is not going to take action go for a legal case this can means destroy the career okay if the legal case starts means if there is a fir any kind of legal case only starts then only you won't get easily a visa and passport so you know how much important it is for a medical student for going abroad so it's going to stop it going to create a lot lot problem if you don't take down the case so you can go and do this also if you are facing physical abuse so this is up for today i hope you like the video and if you faced any sort of uh, ragging or humiliation then do let me know in the comment section okay uh, what kind of uh, humiliation you faced or what kind of torture you faced so that everyone else also gets an idea that how much prevalent it's in india in the medical colleges if you like the video do subscribe to my channel and uh, do share it with your friends because it's a necessary issue so goodbye take care bye bye